Hello again everybody and welcome back to Fujits Blitz and I make no bones about it. This video is basically a sort of response to the recent video I watched by Droodles, which was, is the game dying? Now, the first part of that video I thought was very eloquently argued when he compares Blitz to World of Tanks and he makes some very valid points, etc, etc. And I've got absolutely zero to say on that. I mean, what YouTubers and influential YouTubers have to say about the game is completely up to them. However, halfway through the video, he then starts talking about 39% win rate players, which, as an influencer, because he has over 42,000 subscribers, I thought was the wrong message. Now, why did I think it was the wrong message? Well, a couple of reasons. But, you know, before you all jump in there and say, ah, oh, but Fuji, you're a hypocrite because you've had a whinge at, you know, low win rate players recently. Actually, I didn't. I did a video recently entitled Delete the Game where I wasn't having a go at the player because he had a low win rate or a low battle count because I also had a go at a guy who had a high win rate and a, a very high uh, battle count also. I was actually stating in that video that... You know, I don't care what your win rate is, be it 80% or 30%, you do not go around telling people to delete the game. It doesn't matter. And if you've got a low battle count and a relatively low win rate, then you're not in a position to tell others to delete the game, was the point I was making there. Although one of my subscribers quite rightly pointed out that it did sound a bit unfair. But that was the point I was making. I wasn't saying this guy should shut his mouth because he's, you know, I'm calling him out because he's got a 48% win rate and only 8,000 battles. What I was pointing out was that nobody should abuse anybody. And it was about abuse. And my point was, if you've got a 48% win rate and only 8,000 battles, then you're not in a position to call anybody out, period. But on the same token, I also said to the 57% win rate player, with over 30,000 battles, he should know better. So, you know, I thought I was being pretty equal there, but one of my subscribers mentioned it, so I have to address it, and I have. And to be fair, what the subscriber said, uh, I took on board. But, going back to the Droodles video, what Droodles said in his video is that 39% win rate players have no place in the game. And I fundamentally disagree with that. He then went on to say that they're clearly not interested in learning the game and therefore he will have no respect. Again, I fundamentally disagree with that. And the reason I fundamentally disagree with it is because of two things. One, it's an assumption that every person in this game is A, able-bodied and B, young or relatively young. Okay. Now, I myself, I'm 48. I'm certainly not a young whippersnapper. In fact, I'll be 49 in a couple of months. So I'm by no means a young whippersnapper. I am able-bodied, luckily. But the thing is, you don't know who's playing that tank on the other side, okay? And the reason I say that is because I have a subscriber who is in his 70s. He has got a very low win rate. He doesn't play the game to get a high win rate. He plays the game because he lost his wife after of over 50 years and this game takes his mind off that as simple as that that's why he plays the game he doesn't care about win rate he doesn't care about average damage you know he's he's an old lad who is just playing the game as a form of escapism i have another subscriber uh funnily enough who is disabled now I can't remember if they are mentally or physically disabled, but that is irrelevant. And they play this game because it gives them enjoyment in an otherwise traumatic time for them, no doubt. I mean, I, I mean, I, I am blessed. I'm an able-bodied person, but I do have a wife who had no kidneys. Uh, and sometimes just dealing with that exhausted her. So I understand that people will play this game for different reasons. Not everybody is going to play this game to chase a win rate or to stack paddle or to get average damage. Some people play this game because it gives them relief. It gives them enjoyment 
and it gives them entertainment. It allows them for a short time to think about all the other things that are happening in their life. And this is an important message, guys. You never know who's on the other end of that tank. And it's wrong to assume that the person on the other end of that tank is exactly the same as you, young or able-bodied, etc., etc. So you cannot judge people in that way. You just can't. And the reason I'm saying this is because Droodles is a big deal in World of Tanks Blitz YouTube. He has over 42,000 subscribers. And I'm sorry, but the message you're sending out, Droodles, and Droodles, don't get me wrong, I mean, I love you to bits, mate. But the message you're sending out is not the right message. You should not be telling your 40-odd thousand subscribers it's okay to effectively abuse and bully 39% win rate players because they're clearly not interested in learning the game and therefore they, they don't deserve any respect. I think that is a fundamentally flawed message. I think we should take every person as they are. Now, there are some trolls out there who have no interest in the game. Okay, they have no interest whatsoever. And I get that. And they are religiously AFK. There are some trolls on certain servers who are purposely going out to get 10% win rate. And I get that too. And these are different types of people. But to tar everybody with a low win rate with that brush is just not right. Because not everybody with a low win rate is a troll. Okay, there are a lot of people out there with low win rates because of their circumstances. Be it, I don't know, you don't know what their circumstances are. There could be 101 different reasons why they have that low win rate and it's not because they're not willing to learn and it's not because there are trolls, it's because something out there prevents them. I mean, maybe it's a disability of some description, or maybe, you know, there's something that, you know, they just play the game for the fun of playing the game, not to chase a win rate. And that's the message you should send out to people. Under no circumstances is it right to abuse any player. And I mean that, do not abuse any player. Okay, I've been equally guilty, but I've had, I've, I've had time to reflect, especially since becoming a CC. And I've had a lot of time to reflect. And it's not right to call people out if, they, um, if they've got a low win rate. Uh, and when I say call them out, I mean say things like delete the game or learn to play or drop down a tier. I mean, it's not right because you don't know their circumstances. And I have to keep reminding myself of that every time I get frustrated because we all get frustrated. Everybody gets frustrated with the game. Everybody will get frustrated with the inactivity of certain players or you will think that that certain player just hasn't got a clue and he's clueless and blah, blah, blah. And I get all that. And it's okay to mutter to yourself you know, oh my God, what a clueless player. Oh, it's, it's, it's perfectly reasonable for you to mutter that to yourself under your breath in the sanctuary of your own home. But when you then take that and to type it into the chat, then you're crossing the line, I think. Now, I will bemoan players left, right and center, but I will never type in the chat things like delete the game or learn to do this or whatever. And I'm just saying, guys, be considerate of the players around you. Don't always assume everybody is the same as you. Anyway, I just wanted to say that. I've been Fujit. This is by no means a video tailored to hate on Droodles. Maybe just chain, tell him to review his attitude on certain things. By all means, comment and everything below um, because I'd, I'd be interested to hear your views. Um, if you want a decent replays, of course, send them to me, fujitsblitz at gmail.com. 
And don't think I'm sending this video out there is, I don't know what you want to call it, as clickbait or as drama or calling another YouTuber out. That is not the message I'm trying to send here. You know, I'm not saying all of a sudden hate on Droodles. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying the message that he sent out, I don't agree with and be considerate to the other players. Anyway, until the next time, stay safe out there. Have fun on the battlefield and happy tanking. And that is the main thing, guys. Having fun and being happy.